Okay, so it um, falls to me apparently to close the meeting, and I wasn't quite sure what you're supposed to say to close the meeting, so after Conrad's inspired entertainment last night, I got thinking about midnight, got my pen out and a big bit of paper, and started jotting down all kinds of things I could say, and by about one o'clock in the morning, the list was very, very long. Um, so I had breakfast this morning, got the paper out, read it, and it went straight in the bin. I decided there was only really two things that I wanted to, to do. One was firstly to really thank um, the speakers, firstly for being so patient over writing the book. It's been three years in the process, and I think they did a, a wonderful job producing the chapters, but also for the really inspiring talks that they've given over the last couple of days. They've been, uh, for me personally, really very, very entertaining and interesting. So could we just join and thank the speakers first? Thanks. And um, the second thing I think that's important is to thank Conrad. When Conrad first said he wanted to have this meeting, you know, history meeting tacked on to the end of ETC, I thought he was just mad. I mean, all that work, <laughs> impossible. But in fact, it's worked out, I think, really well. It's been fantastically organized, beautifully done. I think, Conrad, you deserve a great round of applause. Perhaps you could stand up and take a bow. <laughs> As Keith said, I, I tend n not to be serious, so I'll just say I'm blushing. <laughs> He's not really. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and have a safe journey home. And I would like to see as many of you as possible back in Poland and in Warsaw before too long. <laughs>